Hey, let us talk about mythology again. This time, about the secret origins of humanity, the Anunnaki. The history of the first civilizations is full of incredible events and mysteries that have intrigued people for ages. And before we are getting right into the story, please like this video and subscribe. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Many have wondered how humans evolved so quickly compared to other species that have been on this planet for millions of years. Ancient cultures, through their religious beliefs, tried to provide answers about the creation of the world and the unique creativity of humanity. So maybe the answer lies in the writings of the first organized civilization, the Sumerians. The Sumerians emerged in Mesopotamia, around 4500 BC. Over time, they built large cities and developed the first writing system, known as cuneiform, using clay tablets. During an archaeological dig in Iraq in 1849, 14 clay tablets with Sumerian inscriptions were found. The translation revealed one of the most fascinating stories, the story of the Anunnaki gods. And according to these ancient texts, there is a planet at the far reaches of the solar system called Nibiru. Every 3,600 years, it comes into orbit near Earth. Nibiru is home to the Anunnaki, who faced major problems as the planet's atmosphere and climate changed, making it hard to grow food and survive. And they needed advanced technology, magic, and alchemy to fix things. And for that, they required lots of gold, which has unique purifying properties. Gold, however, was rare on Ibiru. So, and the Anunnaki used their advanced technology and sent spaceships in search of the precious metal. After a long journey, they arrived on Earth about 445,000 years ago, when they became the first astronauts to colonize another planet. Back then, Earth was home to wild animals like mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and some early apes. The Anunnaki settled in Mesopotamia and built a magnificent city called Eridu. Within it, they created a stunning garden full of fruit trees and animals, and they named it Eden, and it became their favorite spot. Not long after, the Anunnaki began mining gold from Earth's underground, but they needed laborers to do the hard work for them, so they brought in slaves from another alien race called the Igigi. After years of grueling labor, the Igigi rebelled, sparking Earth's first war. The Igigi were defeated, leaving the Anunnaki without the workers. Desperate, they decided to create a new race of intelligent but more docile beings. By combining their DNA with early human ancestors, they engineered a hybrid race. But the early experiments didn't go well. Strange beings like the Nephilim giants came into existence. These creatures were incredibly strong, but lacked intelligence and self-control. Eventually, the first human, Adamu, was created from a successful genetic mix. Compared to humans, the Anunnaki were giants with great strength and advanced weapons, making them hard to challenge. Over time, humans learned how to speak and picked up farming and construction skills from the Anunnaki. The gods grew fond of humans and even allowed them to live in their city and enjoy Eden. However, they strictly ordered humans not to reproduce too much. But of course, humans being humans, they did just that. So, 
overpopulation forced many people to be exiled from Eden and Eridu, sent to live in the wildlands. Thousands of years later, Nibiru came close to Earth again. Its gravitational pull caused chaos, melting glaciers, raising sea levels and constant rain. This led, of course, to the Great Flood, which submerged the city of Eridu. And to save their creations, the Anunnaki built massive boats that floated until the waters receded. Some believe these boats might have even been spaceships hovering above the floodwaters. After their city was destroyed, the Anunnaki decided to return to Nibiru. But before leaving, they gifted humanity with knowledge, teaching architecture, mathematics, music, writing, and even the idea of monarchy. But the last one certainly didn't backfire. And they ordered humans to build temples or cigarettes, aligned with the stars, so the Anunnaki could one day return to Earth. The Marian texts don't say exactly how many Anunnaki there were, but a few stand out as the most powerful. The head deity was Anu, also known as An, the personification of heaven, known for its immense wisdom. His wife, Ki, represented the earth, and together they gave birth to the Anunnaki, which by the way means children of heaven and earth. Their first son was Enlil, the god of air, storms, and responsible for separating heaven and earth. Enki, another powerful god, ruled over the oceans and rivers and was the protector of the city of Eridu. His influence extended to other cultures like the Hananites and the Hittites. Nana, the moon god, was known for his wisdom and love of signs, while Utu, the sun god, was the embodiment of justice, truth, and morality. His sister, Inanna, was the goddess of fertility, war, and political power, later worshipped by other civilizations as Ishta. The Anunnaki legend was recorded by the Sumerians, is packed with advanced scientific and astronomical knowledge that still puzzles historians to this day. Now, what do you think? Are there some aspects that sound eerily familiar? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.